If you'd like to have a little fun sometime, ask a minister about something that's gone wrong at a wedding. My pastor friend Al told me he would rather perform 20 funerals than one wedding. I said, why? Because stuff goes wrong, he said. <laughs> Rarely does something go wrong at a funeral. Then he started to laugh and tell me some of the most fabulous stories of wild and crazy weddings. Here are just a few. During the vows, the bride said no. What do you do with that? While coming down the aisle together to music from Star Wars, the bride and her father fought with lightsabers. The pastor and groom had no idea what was happening. As a soloist was singing in a loud operatic voice, a fly flew into her mouth. The song concluded early. I'm not making this stuff up, honest. Years ago, I videotaped weddings for those who asked me to, and I captured more than my fair share of faintings. But at one wedding, the bride fainted four times. They finally sat her in a folding chair. Her father, the minister, concluded the service with the Bible verse, now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. Ah, the ceremony concluded with hilarious laughter. Sometimes the sound guy makes a mistake. At one wedding, he started the wrong music. As the bride came down the aisle, the audience was treated to the old song, The Lady is a Tramp. <laughs> As the pastor officiated a beach wedding, a man rode up in a paddle boat and said, Don't do it. Another outdoor wedding had an unusual guest, a stray dog that kept bringing a tennis ball to the minister and dropping it at his feet. In lieu of an honorarium for one wedding service, the bride made the minister two homemade pies. He said they were so bad, we threw them away. When the bride later asked him how they were, he told her, pies like that don't last long at our house. <laughs> so she made him two more. Wow. Have you had a few curveballs thrown at you? A sense of humor sure helps. I don't know what kind of work you're involved in, but let me encourage you with this. Something is gonna go wrong. It's true. Something won't turn out like you planned. I hope it's something small, but there are times when it's bigger than we could have anticipated. My wife and I have been through our share of hardship, so whatever size of mess you encounter today, remember three things that can help bring the joy back for us. Number one, God knows about it. In Matthew 10, Jesus says that not a single sparrow falls to the ground without our Father knowing. And God pays even greater attention to us. I love that. God knows about it. Second, God will help you handle it. Whoever said God never gives us more than we can handle has never visited a dentist. We get more than we can handle in life sometimes, so we turn to the only one big enough to help us handle it. That's when we grow. We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. God will help you handle it. Number three, God will bring good from it. I didn't say God will explain it or fix it or make it go away, but he will redeem it. Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers, but when they were starving and famished, they came to Egypt for grain. And guess who was in charge? Their brother, Joseph. He told his brothers, you intended to harm me. God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Romans 8, 28 assures us that God knows us far better than we know ourselves. He knows our present condition. We can be sure that he cares, that the details of our lives are being worked into something good. I told these things to Pastor Al and he agreed with me, but he couldn't help warning me to shut my phone off when I'm at a wedding. Seems that during the sacred vows at one wedding, a guest GPS loudly proclaimed, You have reached your destination. Laughter is phenomenal medicine. Share it, like it, pass it on by subscribing to the button that you subscribe to. Then, hey, take the rest of the day off.